Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. It's Elisa. So I'm super excited about this video because this video is going to be sponsored by Glossier. I have used some of their products in the past and I've really liked them, but I have not used a lot of them. So they reached out and wanted to collaborate on a video and I said, uh, girlfriend, yes. <laughs> so I decided we would do a first impressions on the products since I haven't used a lot of these and I've never done that on my channel before. So I thought it'd be kind of fun uh, just to try out some things and see what we think about everything thing here. I'm super excited. I think the makeup look turned out very, very simple, uh, but it's usually what Glossier goes for. So I'm super excited about this and I will have the links down below in the description box if you're interested in anything that I show you, but I will make a commission off of those links if you purchase through the links that I have provided. So now with that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I did decide to go with some like skin prepping products and also the makeup products, but I decided to do the skin prepping products off camera for about two weeks so I could tell you a little bit more about what I really feel about them. So the very first product I want to talk about is the um, Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser. Now, I have had this in the past. Um, they sent it to me in a PR package probably close to two years ago, and I really did like it, but I've been sent so many other skincare products that I just wanted to try those out. So I don't really have a solid skin regimen right now, and this has been my consistent cleanser. Now, what I found about this is it is very neutral. It is fragrance-free, which I love, and also Glossier has claimed that this can be used for any skin type. It doesn't have to be um, just for oily or just um, even your normal skin or even very dry skin, very sensitive skin. They do claim that this is for everybody. Personally, I have more dry skin and I find that it does a pretty good job of taking off my makeup, but I would recommend going in with a makeup remover before and then using this to scrub off everything after. When I do this, my skin feels really nice. Um, it is dry afterwards, but I do have dry skin and I always use moisturizer no matter what uh, cleansing balm that I use to, to wash my face. I always need moisturizer. So I'll use moisturizer after that and I do go in with an eye makeup remover to remove all of the makeup. But if you don't use a whole lot of makeup, I would definitely recommend this. It does a pretty good job on stripping everything away. So as far as skin goes, I've not noticed a huge change in my skin. I've not noticed any heavier breakouts. So next up, I was really excited to try this. This is a brand new one for me. This is the Glossier Moisturizing Moon Mask. And this is just a heavy mask that you put on your face and you let soak into your face for about 15 to 20 minutes. Or if you wanna do a little bit longer, that's usually what I like to do because my face is really dry. And then you'll just rinse that off. So what I find about this is the texture is pretty heavy, but when you put it on, it just feels like a kind of an extra thick moisturizer cream, um, but you can't really tell a huge difference. So it is, um, it is heavy, but it doesn't feel like a, like your typical like face mask would. It just feels like a really heavy moisturizer, but that is what I want. I've been really happy with this, um, along with face sheet masks that I've been using. Um, I've actually noticed a really big difference in my skin. It's almost more bouncy. It's easier to work with. It's not as dry, especially with like my zits that I have dry patches on specifically. Um, I do notice that it's helped with that. And my skin is overall is smoother. It's a smoother application. It's more bouncy and it is a little bit more glowy. And actually I've been really, really happy with this moon mask. Okay, so next up, I did want to try out the Glossier Zit Stick. And you pop this on um, any stubborn friends that are popping up, and you just kind of let it dry and do its job. The stubborn zits right here, like they're just super stubborn. And I've been popping this on there probably daily. Um, I've missed a handful of days in between. But overall, it's done a pretty good job of getting rid of them. But if you do have really simple like pimples and not full on acne, this could work really well for you. Okay, so now we've kind of done a little rundown on the whole skin prep. Um, now I'm gonna go in with the products and kind of show you what they're all about, how I think about them. To start off, I'm gonna go in with the Priming Moisturizer and I've never used this before. They say that this is a uh, kind of like a lotion. Um, they do claim that it's really, really hydrating. So I just have a little dollop on my finger and my face is totally bare, there's nothing on this. So this is the first product we're putting on my face. And I'm just going to kind of push that in. It feels really smooth. But I need a little bit more. <laughs> Got milk. There is a little bit of a fragrance to it. 
but it's not very heavy, which I like. I'm usually not a fan of a fragrancy like lotion or just makeup in general, but this one's, it's pretty subtle. It does feel pretty sticky, like it'll cling to some makeup. Okay, so, so far so good. Um, now I'm gonna go into, ooh, yeah, I really wanted to try this. This is the Bubble Wrap. So this is an eye and lip plumping cream. So you use this around your lips and on your lips, but also your eyes. I was super intrigued by that. Oh, whoops, you're supposed to put this on before you moisturize. I'm gonna go ahead and do it anyway. This is a super cute packaging, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna take a little bit of that. Oh, cool. Doesn't smell good, I like that a lot. And I'm just gonna like mix that together and pop that under. Get some eye moisture going on. It feels really, really lightweight, which I like because sometimes heavy creams make my eyes get like swollen. <laughs> so this feels so far so good. Um, this is not swelling me up so far. <laughs> and just for fun, I'm actually gonna put this on my lips too because I technically can. Not sure how I feel. I would probably stick to using this to adjust my eyes. It almost feels like there's kind of a film on my lips. Okay, so next time I'm gonna go with some sunscreen. This is the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. So you're gonna pop this all over your face. It has an SPF of 35, which is pretty good. Okay, so what I just read is that this is kind of a water gel formula. So there's no alcohol, it's not very greasy, it's not very heavy, but there is a slight fragrance to this. So, We'll find out. Oh, this is so cute. The packaging of these products are adorable. Oh, interesting. Ooh, actually it does have a little bit of a scent, but it's really fresh. It's not very overpowering. It actually smells really nice. So I'm just gonna pop this all over. Oh, actually this smells really good. Like really, really good. I think it also this also has vitamin E in it. I think if I read that correctly, feels really, really smooth. And again, I'm really gonna focus that on your eye. Actually, this smells, this is like the best smelling sunscreen I think I've ever smelled. <laughs> like that's pretty good. It's very, very fresh. I feel like there's a very distinct sunscreen smell. This doesn't really have that. It's like um, almost kind of florally, but not. It's very, very fresh. Like I can't stress it enough. This is a very, very fresh scent. Okay, so next up, we're gonna go in with the Perfecting Skin Tint. I'm super excited about this. So this is kind of like a foundation, but it's very, very lightweight, and it's supposed to be more like a second skin. So this does come in 12 shades, and from what I hear, it is pretty transparent, like it is supposed to be kind of a second skin. Um, so it's not going to be super high coverage. Also, I do like that this is dermatologist tested. Um, it's allergy free, paraben free, all that sort of stuff, which I really, really like. So the tube is kind of small, but it's doable. Um, the shade that I got is G11, and this is one of the more fair shades, obviously. Oh, it's very liquidy. More liquidy than I would have assumed, but my gosh, it looks beautiful. It looks very, very creamy. Oh, ooh. Yeah, that's really, really nice. It feels so smooth. Like actually this feels so creamy. It's probably a little mix of the products that I've used before and this, but it feels so like soft. I can't stress that enough, but it also doesn't look very drying. It's like soft, but there's still kind of a glow to my face and it's not completely mattifying. I do have that concealer. I forget what it's called, but I'm gonna use this on top of this and then we'll see how those two work together did a pretty good job on smoothing out everything. There's still some zits and some scars poking through, but I think that's when the concealer will come in handy. So the point of this I just read is to give a brightening, blurring, and pore minimizing effect. And I would say it did probably pretty much that. Okay, so next up I'm gonna go in with the Stretch Concealer. So this is the cute little box that it comes in, and I got the shade G11 also. And let's open this up. Again, I'm just gonna use my fingers to apply this. Oh, cute. So this is what it looks like. Oh, super cute packaging yet again. Okay, so I think I'm gonna pop this under my eyes, a little bit around my nose because my nose gets red and then cover up some of our stubborn friends. Okay, so this concealer says that it comes with 
a super elastic consistency and allows to move with your expressions, not stiffen and cake. So that's a pretty good claim. The whole point of this concealer is to not stiffen up on your face so it moves when you move, which I like that a lot. I'm just gonna warm that up with my finger and pop that under. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't wanna say it feels sticky, but kind of, because it feels like it is moving with you. So I do have some redness around my nose because I have horrible allergies. But what I find is that this concealer is covering that up pretty well. Um, at least the redness, it's doing a pretty good job at covering it up. Can you see those zits right here? They're like kind of scars. Um, they're not super prominent, but they're still there. So I'm gonna see how well this covers that up. Mm, could have covered up maybe a little bit better but it does look like it's a little bit too dark and that would be my fault for choosing the wrong shade. But cover up wise, it did well, but there is still some redness peeking through that you might not be able to see on the camera, but I can see just a hint of redness, but it works great under the eyes. Works really, really well under the eyes. Overall, I've hardly used any concealer and a little bit does go a long way with it. What I do find with the concealer is that the under eyes look beautiful that looks absolutely flawless, and I think that worked very, very well. It's just when it comes to the zits, something's just not really working. So I'm not sure what that is, the dry skin or just the concealer. I do think this concealer did really well on making this look like it was my skin, rather than like that blatant like paintbrush look that concealer sometimes gives on your eyes. This did kind of blend out that discoloration that my eye naturally has to make it look like this might be just my regular skin color. And I think the concealer did a wonderful job with that. Okay, so I did just brush some brow product through my brows, and now I'm gonna try out the uh, cloud paint. Oh, this is so pretty. So this is like a liquid blush. I have had this before in the past, and I do really like it. It's pretty transparent, um, but it also is pretty buildable. So if you want to light flush the face, this is a great product to use. Um, if you're looking to build, you can build also using this. So this does come into six shades. The shade that I'm using is called Puff. It's a really like kind of pretty pink, which I love. So depending on what you look better in, like what shade you look better in, um, I would recommend you choosing that. They do have a peachy tone, so if you look better in peachy, definitely go with that. Personally, I look better in a light pink. So I'm gonna take this out. Also, the packaging is absolutely adorable. Um, and this is supposed to be like a very flawless, seamless blend of a blush. And I'm actually gonna put that on the back of my hand. So like using my hand kind of as a palette and then using my fingers as my brush to pick it up and kind of diffuse it first here. Using multiple fingers I find helps kind of spread the product a little bit better. Yep, that looks really, really beautiful. Very translucent. It still looks like it's just a natural flush of the face. I love that. Okay, so I just applied a little bit of some pink color to my lids just so we have some color to work with. Um, and I'm going to put some mascara on. So I'm gonna try out the Lash Slick. This is a mascara by Glossier. And I'm excited to try this. I've not used this yet either, but um, I guess we'll find out. Okay, so this is what it looks like. It's a really pretty pink tube. And I just curl my lashes. So we're just gonna brush through this. Oh, cool, so it's a really straight, mascara brush, and I'm just going to pop that on. Okay, overall, I think it did a pretty good job. Um, it looks very natural, and it did keep the curl of my lashes very well. Um, I'm very particular about my mascara. Some of you OGs will know that, but this one did do a really good job in keeping the curl, and it is really black. It's nothing crazy, but if you are looking for a very everyday mascara, this would probably be really good. Again, I noticed that they kept the curl of the lashes very well. They are nice and black, and they did add on to my additional lashes, but they're not super, super long. So if you are looking for more like an everyday, kind of like step up of your everyday lashes, this does a really good job. So this is what the lashes look like. Um, it kind of depends on your preference, what you think is long, but personally, I like a very, very long lash. I think this mascara held the curl pretty well. It is nice and black, which I really like, but I wouldn't say that this is crazy length by any means. Um, but rather a step up of my already natural lashes. So if that's what you're looking for, I would say this mascara did a great job at that. 
the mascara still looks beautiful. Um, I'm not unhappy with it, but I also really do like a very long lash. Okay, so this is gonna be personally my favorite part of the uh, video because I love, <laughs> love lip balm. Uh, this is the .com. So I got the birthdaycake.com, I got the rosebalm.com, and then I just got the regular um, universal skin solve balm.com. So we're gonna try them out today. Um, I actually have used this in the past. This is one of the few lip glosses or like lip balms that I've used completely at the end of the tube. That's how good they are. So yes, I have tried this in the past, but I have not tried the rose, the birthday cake, or the just regular one. I think mine was the coconutbalm.com that I had and I loved it. So I'm gonna go in with the rose first because I think this will be a really pretty um, light pink shade to finish up the pinky look. And oh, packaging is so cute. It looks like lavender, oh, so adorable. And this is what it looks like. It looks like a very, very subtle pink. It smells like rose too. Not my favorite scent, but it is a pretty color. Honestly, I'm not sure if it really changed the shade of my lips. Um, it still looks like it's a pretty regular like lip balm, but this definitely does have pigment to it. Um, but it's very, very light, very transparent, which usually I actually really like. Okay, so I'm really excited about this one. This is the birthday cake. Um, coke or what is it? Birthdaycakebalm.com, not coconut. But it does have a really pretty shimmer to this, which that was what I was excited about. <gasps> oh, look at that packaging. It's so sparkly. Seriously, this lip balm is so hydrating. It's so hard to find a truly hydrating lip balm that actually is also pretty. It's like usually one or the other. But I tell you what, guys, this lip balm is the best. It's so hydrating, but it's beautiful. That shimmer is gorgeous. There's just hardly anything. Okay, so to finish it all off, I'm gonna go in with the V lip gloss. And I have seen this all over and I have wanted to try this so bad. <gasps> yeah. Oh my gosh, this is beautiful. <clears throat> oh my gosh. This feels like I'm just spreading butter all over my lips. Like this feels incredible. It's a really clearly beautiful, glossy, shiny, beautifulness, but it's also really kind of heavy, which I like. That means it's gonna last. <gasps> okay, I'm in love. This is beautiful. Okay, this look actually tied together really well. I know this video was sponsored. However, genuinely, I wouldn't lie to you. This looks beautiful. I mean, I think it's very smooth, very everyday, uh, but that is kind of what Glossier goes for, it seems like. Also, I will have the links down below in the description box for any products that you might be interested in. Again, I will make a commission off of those links if you purchase through the links that I provided down below. But otherwise, I think that's all I have for you. I hope you love this video. Um, if you guys wanna see more makeup videos, just let me know, and I will see you guys later. Bye.